Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for the support I care you guys have been giving me the past few weeks. Anyways, what I'm talking about today might be a little bit of a serious kind of topic but like it happens to so many people around the world and I thought that I needed to talk about this issue. Since I got a similar experience, I thought that maybe it would be good for me to share with you guys. So recently, in a span of less than four months, there were two instances that happened in my life and the title is Getting Molested and Groped. Okay, it did not happen to me, but it happened to people that I actually know and one of them is one of my family members. I was with a bunch of friends in Orchard, which is like the town area of Singapore and it was quite late into the night. So my friend and I decided to go to the toilet together so we can like look out for one another, like nothing happens to like one of us. We didn't know where the toilet was and we had to ask one of the guys working at the shops. And I saw this man walk behind my friend and suddenly she turned at me and she was like, dude, the guy just smacked my ass. So I'm very defensive over my friends, my family and my loved ones. So when something bad happens, I'm usually very jumpy about it. I, I wanted to confront the guy but I was kind of scared because I am like a 1.5 meter little girl and anyone can take me down. Even my 13 year old cousin can probably take me down and he's taller than me already so like guys, I'm really small and to confront a huge ass guy, so tall and big sized and I was really scared but I wanted to confront him because you just touched my friend. So not being able to handle the situation myself, I ran to look for my other friends. Okay, we're just gonna call her um, Jessica, okay? And I was like, this guy just freaking slapped Jessica's ass and I'm like, guys, we cannot let this guy like go. We need to like find this guy. Like, I'm so pissed. And I'm not being able to find a guy for a while and Jessica and I decided to go to the toilet. So we went to the toilet and I was in the toilet just doing my business and when I came out, Jessica was talking to this guy in his mid-40s and so he was just like talking to her about like asking her if she's Singaporean or whatever came, I just came out and I was like you know what just happened to my friend, this guy just like slapped her in the ass so that 40 year old middle-aged man was also really furious about it and he was like where is he, I will go confront him and we we're just like we can't find him anymore, he's gone so at this point we were about to leave the mall already and the 40 year old middle aged man was also like going the same direction and as we were walking out we did as saw the guy who slapped my friend's ass and I was just like telling everybody that's the guy who slapped my friend's ass guys please confront him, like we need to confront him, make him like say sorry, go down on his knees I don't give a shit, okay, just like let him say sorry in any form Okay, so we approached him and after that the, the 40 year old middle aged man, I, I don't know where he came from He confronted the guy and he was like, why do you slap her ass? Like trying to get the sorry out of him and okay, eventually he said sorry I was still not happy about the whole situation, I was still not happy that he had the audacity to slap my friend's ass and think that a sorry will be okay. I mean, it wasn't my call, but I was like, um, Jessica, do you want this guy to freaking like go on his knees and say sorry and bow down to you because like, um, I would make the guy do it if it was me. And she was just like, no, it's okay, it's okay. And I was just like, okay. I mean, if, if it's okay for you, it's okay for me, right? Actually, the guy was at the side like, No, don't make me bow down. Don't make me go on my knees. I'm like, you you just touched my friend's ass. You just violated someone. You can get into serious trouble for that. And you think that kneeling down and like saying sorry is like too much for you, apparently. And he was like, Oh no, I would be ashamed if I was like on my knees and saying sorry. I mean, the nerve of this guy, man. Like, he still thinks that going down on his knees, it's too much and he's ashamed. He was like, no, don't make me do that. I'm like, I will make you do worse. Like, that's the least I can make you do, you know? It's like you got way into her personal space and you just violated her. Like, it's a butt. Even animals bite you when you, when you touch them, you know? Like, what do, what do you mean? That was one of my encounters. Other encounter, I wasn't there, but it was one of my family members and she was having like this dinner and dance kind of, okay, like an event um, where they will invite other clients from other companies. So she didn't really know everyone there. Okay, so let's call my family member Brittany, alright? So Brittany was at an event 
and then it was way into the night and um, everyone had some drinks so it was near the end of the event and she was about to say like her goodbyes to like everyone and so this client or this guy from another company just like came up to hug her and say bye natural reaction she will like hug back you know but she's not a hugger i know because she's my family member i know she's not a hugger she doesn't go close to like you know random people she doesn't know neither does she like really hug her friends like handshakes will do <laughs> the client came up to her or one of the guys at the event he was like bye you're so beautiful and then he pulled back and the next thing he did was grope her boobs like straight up like you know <laughs> who in the right mind does that like another person with the f***ing audacity to just poop <laughs> it was in public how how does anyone grope someone in public and think like oh it's okay my family member she's like timid person and she doesn't really set up for herself when it comes to situations like that yeah i know some people are just like slow to react okay she was scared to offend him so she was just standing there like what the f*** just happened? Like, she was just like... Okay, so when I heard about this story, she was like, Don't tell anyone about it. I'm ashamed. I'm scared to tell anyone. I'm afraid of what they will think about me. It's not your fault. She told me she felt dirty and she felt ashamed. And that made me really, like, angry. I hate the fact that anybody in the right mind can touch a girl and then make her feel dirty in her own skin. Like... Why can't you control your own hands? Like, go buy, like, the sex doll and just squeeze. So my family member, Brittany, ended up telling my other family members. And then she went to tell her company. And then she told the police what happened. And, I mean, these things can go unjustified. Touched you, somebody groped you, somebody molested you. You stand up for yourself. The popo rolled up to the guy's office that uh, apparently that was what happened that was what i heard arrested him i i feel good about that one i feel good about that one because he like got into trouble for that i'm like satisfied my heart is satisfied but then again he deserves to be like skin alive and like have salt rubbed on his body anyways one thing i really hate is when people blame it on the girl and be like oh because she was wearing this or she looked like this and um, she was asking for it. I'm not trying to encourage you, oh, okay, flaunt your tits, yeah, okay, and shit like that. I'm just trying to say, I just feel that maybe people should be saying, like, you can't touch a girl like that. It is wrong to disrespect a girl. It's wrong to exploit one another, you know what I mean? It's stupid to just say, oh, because she was wearing this, and my eyes were attracted, so um, it's her fault for wearing this and looking like that. It's hard to tell someone what to wear. Because an outfit that's okay to you might not be okay to someone else. So the best lesson that we can learn from this story and video today is do not touch people inappropriately and disrespect them. Why don't more people talk about respecting each other? I wanted to talk about this today because um, I recently saw the Women's March in Washington DC and that's when I decided to talk about this story. And I thought it was an amazing event. I watched some videos on it and it just really reminded me of wanting to speak about this issue to you guys. Not only women get violated these days actually, like you think that oh okay so Nicole is just speaking for women and she's just saying that guys are always the ones who commit the crime. I'm trying to put it out there that this happens to guys and girls and it really irks me when people blame the girl entirely for getting raped or getting molested saying, hey, you shouldn't wear this. Um, you're just going to attract unwanted attention. I mean, it's not the right way to put it, but maybe you should just say, take care of yourself, be around people who will take care of you, don't go into like dark alleys and everything. I mean, you can wear what you want to wear. Just take care of yourself because there are going to be people out there who don't have the same mindset as us. Why I'm also talking about this today is because many people have encountered these kind of instances, but nobody has stood by them. I've heard of people who get raped and they feel disgusting and they just like keep showering, keep showering, they feel disgusted in their own skin but it is not your fault and you should never blame yourself but seek help and yeah, just fight for your own rights because that's what you deserve and nobody should be treated in a way that they feel disgusted by themselves just because someone raped them or someone molested them it may be easy to brush it off after you finish watching this video after you just like go to another video I just want you guys to keep this in mind that when 
something like that happens to your friend or someone you love or even a stranger, be sure to stand up for them. It might mean so little to you but it will be a great deal to them. And when it does happen to you, you wish someone was there for you, who stood up for you and stick by you. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, um, I don't know, follow my other social media platforms, whatever you want to do. Anyways, yeah, have a great week ahead, weekend, whatever, whenever you're watching this. But yeah, bye!